Hello gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Continuing on with the big dig. As you can see, I have most of this dug out now along the right hand side. Got lots of hydrogen building up here. I actually burnt it all off at one point, but then it recollected. I'll find I might build a um hydrogen bubbler up in this right hand corner at some point. Uh I'm gonna probably make my way through this section here next. And food's keeping up um, with the 25 dupes that I have. I've also been doing uh, some natural water cooling. So this geyser hidden in here was draining into this cold ice biome here. And it's melted most of it away. So the water in here is nice and cold, which I might use in the future. Um, I might have to filter out the clean stuff, but. Uh, this geyser here is dripping into this area as well. And I needed a new source of water because it wasn't there wasn't enough water to run all my CO2 scrubbers. And there was a bit of a collapse in CO2 scrubbing because CO2 scrubbing requires power, but everything was overpressurized. Um, and my power needs CO2 to be vented, so it was this vicious circle, so it was a little bit hard to get out of, but it was basically because there, was, there wasn't enough water going down to these CO2 scrubbers down here. And there was also one weird thing that happened. I, If you see these little bottles on the ground, like this one here, that one actually has water in it, but some of them have gases in them. So like this one has polluted oxygen and you can do empty building. And I'm assuming it releases that little bit of gas into the air. So, there I just did it for that one. So what happened earlier was, I had one of those little bottles on the ground, and I should have recorded it, but I didn't. It was right around this area. And it had CO2 in it, but it must have had like, a, th a thousand, 10,000 kilograms of CO2, because what happened was my whole base within about a minute was completely full of CO2. And people started dying and I had to put in more, more CO2 scrubbers and and I had to kind of open up the base to let the CO2 vent. It was like um, 17 kilograms per square of CO2 for like this whole area. It was crazy. I don't know how all the CO2 got stuck in that one little bottle but it was a disaster and it took a while to kind of recover from. So if you look at this bottle here it has well, only 100 grams, but some of them have a little bit more. Anyway, so I don't know how it happened. If you guys know, let, let me know in a comment if you've ever seen anything like that before. I've been trying to sweep as I um, as I dig, just to keep the lag down. So this area, it's pretty clean. I've been putting in storage containers and I found another natural gas geyser here and I've been letting it vent in here so we got 40 kilograms per square so lots of natural gas and I'm not using we have so much there's just I'm not using it all and there's tons of power my main water source is right here still and I was draining in from this one but now I'm draining in from this one which gets cooled down kind of from this polluted water that's fixed in here And only a little bit dribbles out at a time, and it's it's usually 80 or 90 degrees, but it kind of, when it mixes in with the cool water down here, it all works out nicely. So this is actually on a little a little bit on the cool side, so this will, tepidizer will kick in if needed. And I put in a lot more fertilizer makers just to try to consume all this polluted water that gets made from these natural gas geysers. I'm also probably going to allow, I got an overflow here so that if too much gets made polluted water I dumps in here and then this is the emergency emergency overflow in here so if I let the game run idle for like many hours I can just let it all dump in here and before I kind of go AFK I can just mop this out and then mop this out. I'd like to be able to consume the polluted water as fast as I'm making it, but 
and that's I'm going to put some more fertilizer makers in here but we're generating around 5.6 kilowatts from all these different power natural gas generators we're about to generate a bit more here once this piece gets made so I learned one neat tip today well, I was watching Brothgar do one of his studies on the game and that is if you if you pipe super hot water into a CO2 scrubber or air scrubber sorry um, let's say you put in 90 degree water the output the polluted water output is always around it's around 40 degrees so if, if you see here this polluted water coming out of the air scrubber is at 40 degrees so no matter what the temperature is going in whether it's 20 degrees or 90 degrees 95 degrees it'll come out 40 so it's kind of a thermodynamically speaking it's a a free way to get um, cooling I mean you're you're stuck with polluted water at the end but the other way to do it is with the air or water filter I don't use those because sand is somewhat finite but if you use a water purifier and you put hot polluted water in it'll come out also at 40 degrees so it's kind of a free way to get 40 degree clean water except you're going to use up your sand eventually I try not to use sand anywhere unless I absolutely need to right now I don't think I have anything consuming sand so there is a way to make sand down with using magma but I haven't or a really hot source but I haven't tried that yet on this map I've been using this rejuvenator to try to heal up my my dupes they're actually all healed up now but you gotta be careful to if you leave it assigned to someone they'll just like hang out in there doing doing nothing for a very long time so usually when everyone's healed up I unassign them and then that way they're free to go about doing some work I don't know why they sit in there after they're at 100 health but it might be a bug I also put in some space heaters just to keep the base at a nice temperature and I used a thermal switch so if it gets too hot around this area it'll just turn itself off eventually we'll have all clean oxygen in here I've got one electrolyzer going here and it's feeding clean oxygen into the base but the base is overpressurized most of the time as you can see by these vents right here so eventually they'll breathe, breathe all this polluted oxygen and we'll have pure clean oxygen the base is airtight now there's no there's no openings anywhere I'm storing all my slime and nasty stuff like bleach stone and stuff underwater here and I'm not dumping dumping any water in here anymore so it should maintain this water level unless they unless they pee on the floor or something I have taken on a few more dupes uh, I was at 17 I think now I'm up to 25 and uh, if I find any really good ones I'll probably take them on but not I don't want to have too many there's tons of food there's 45,000 sleet wheat grain and five, half a million food I was up to about a million food but I, I ran out of storage I guess I could make more freezers but I also put in this space heater here I th might have mentioned it in the previous episode because the polluted water got too cold and it froze and the whole system kind of shut down and I'm also pumping in extremely cold oxygen so if you look here oxygen's coming in at between negative 20 and negative 35 uh, so that's keeping this room nice and cold and then I also have this liquid cooling that's keeping a nice even cold temperature in the in this room there's no real particular reason I'm trying to dig out the whole map other than just to see if I can do it still lots to do near the bottom here but we've hit the magma down here and I might play with this again at some point trying to cl make clean water with polluted water last time I tried it, it took forever to get it to work and it only generated a small amount of water so it wasn't really worth it but there's tons of clean water on the map now I've filled this up 
mostly with clean water from this geyser. I've sh turned it off for now, but it was kind of draining out down into here. And we got clean water down here, clean and cool water. So, tons of water. And eventually I'm going to use this geyser up here. Uh, pull from here and then probably pump it directly into an electrolyzer and then vent off the pure oxygen into this area. I was super unlucky because I only got one puff to load on my entire map so far. Here he is. Uh, and what I'm doing here is I'm pumping in polluted oxygen and he's turning it into slime and the slime is falling into this polluted water and that way it doesn't dissolve really quickly. Normally if it just lands on the ground it like gives off polluted oxygen really quickly and you can't use it. And I've locked this room so there's tons of slime accumulating in here. I don't know how much but let's see one 5,000 kilograms, 6,000 kilograms. There's probably like 50,000 or so in here. And eventually I'll just unlock the door, let, let the dupes go in there, get all the slime and then lock it up again. Otherwise they go in there and and they'll get like a hundred grams at a time and just run back and forth. It's a bit of a waste. And whenever I find a morb I just I crack open the area to the chlorine so that the morbs can eat the chlorine. Duplicants will randomly die in nice oxygen rich areas uh, just because the game's so laggy now. They'll, just, they'll be standing in the base and they'll die. Which is unfortunate. And then I have to kind of reload from a save. But I find if I keep up on the sweeping, the lag doesn't get too bad, even though I'm at like four, frame, four frames per second right now. I'm going to eventually crack open this geyser and let it drain down along here and down into our, the main water reservoir here. Oh, one thing I want to show you, you can see you can see the dupes that have snazzy suits on. They have these little green boxes around them when the decor overlay is on. It's pretty. It's an easier way to see them moving around actually. Because they're otherwise, when when you're zoomed way out in screenshot mode, it, it's they're super tiny, but in this way you can kind of see where they're going. Which is kind of handy. Lots of oxygen. <laughs> right in this low oxygen area is where we're pumping the oxygen off to the puff to consume it, but it'll take, with only one puff, it'll take years to uh, consume all this polluted oxygen. Anyway, so just wanted to do a quick update, show you how the dig, the big dig is going as the helicopter flies by. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to get alerted on future videos that I put out, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.